Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Adam's Legacy. My name is Katrina, and today we are focusing in on Annis, our current leader, um, our direct descendant from Adam. Now, in the last episode, it was kind of a frantic mess. Sorry, it sniffles. Um, but it was kind of a frantic mess with us trying to get a couple of male heirs to continue the line because it looked like Solo was going to be our last remaining male in the tribe. Um, turns out that Fel was not happy with Fox leaving his son on the previous island because he was sick. Um, even if he had the derp snout, um, Analala actually was sick and she spent her entire life in dedication to the family and there was just there was no reason for him to leave his son there with wasp but um <clears throat> anyways we are continuing on everybody has used up their last moves for the day and um Anise, Anis, oh, I really don't know how to pronounce her name. I'm pretty sure it's just Anis. Um, she definitely has to pick her next heir. And I think that she's going to go for um, Rianame. Um, because they look so similar. And she does have her other daughters, Rilako and Meme. But uh, I'm not sure that she would take the purse out over the big nose. Um, and although all of her children have spots, I think that Rianame is the one that reminds her most of herself. Um, Annis has led a pretty interesting life. Um, her father passed away very shortly after they moved to the island, and um, <clears throat> I think Annis was a little bit young. She was still playing around in the wild with her sisters Cinnamon and um, and Saffron over here so alright so we're gonna move on to the next day oh and I did I hear a crab it dying a crab dead oh hey there's one over here alright so let's go ahead and first thing is first, we need to have Rianame take that bunny out. And I think that Annis would have Rianame come close. <clears throat> we want to be able to pass the gems on to her daughter, so let's make sure that happens. Oops. Hello? Come on. Let's zoom in on here, okay. So. I don't know if you guys can hear this. The music might be a little bit faint, but I just love the relaxing sounds of the ocean here. So, <clears throat> Annis is pretty happy. Um, she gets to pass on the gems to her daughter, and now she is, I think, taking a deep breath relaxing now that the future of the family is secured. Um, so right before we actually came back to this episode, I went ahead and took a look at our family tree. And in the previous episode, ooh, we have a permanent nest there. That's perfect for exactly what I wanted to do next. And I think that there are so many islands here um, what we're gonna do is we're going to split up the family because I think it'll be easier to keep track of everybody if their stories aren't so squashed together. Um, let's take a look here. So we started from this port and what I want to do is... Huh. How do we... Is that the direction we wanted to go in? Because we started from this port, and I think the most northern port that isn't just a breeding safe island is going to be this one. So let's go there. <clears throat> um, 
Yeah, so I think what we'll do is we are going to send Rianame's family, whatever that family will be, uh, straight north. We'll hop one, two, three islands over here, and then we... Oh god, I can't... Let's see, and then we're going to send Saffron's children over to this island, and we'll see if we can circle around. And then Cinnamon's children, I think we'll send through the middle aisle here, so that way we can all meet up over here. Um, just that way we've explored every island, and I want to spend quite a bit of time here because we have a few uh, swimming jeans to unlock. Um, so yeah, and that way it'll be easier. We have three different families to keep an eye on, and... <clears throat> Yep. So let's go back. I am so sorry about these camera angles. I really just am terrible at this. So let's have, and I I don't really like the idea of um, having more babies, but we have plenty of food. And now that we have a clear direction in life, we'll set Cloud up over here. And Cinnamon and Cloud have fallen in love. I mean, she has... She's been our scout this whole time, but I think that... Being startled by such a handsome male would definitely, um... Inspire her to start her own family, especially since there are so many babies here. And I do notice that since we're splitting up the family into three different directions, we have a healer from each one of um, Isila's line to be able to accompany everyone. So we have Analana, we have Aname, and Kore all together. So I think that that is absolutely perfect. Um, wow, cool. So this worked out a lot better than I thought that it would. So let's come back over here. Um, Solo has fathered so many children. Um, we'll go ahead and have Aphid come over here. I think that she has been pregnant for a little bit, so she's got a little craving for crab meat. And we'll have her settle back down in this nest. Banana, who is our, uh, I think she's a little funny creature. Um, she would be a good big sister to her little brothers, um, Kiro and Dukunu. Um, and we have Saffron over here, who has really been taken with <clears throat> this new nicheling, uh, Vankir. And I don't really take her as a very serious nicheling. Um, she is definitely a part of, um... The original line with saffron and or sorry with cinnamon and anise so yeah I, I take saffron as as a pretty silly nicheling I don't think that she would be tied to all of um, Lilith's nonsense with disliking the derp snout Van Keer seems like a perfectly good guy he's got um, kind of some some poor, uh, some poor misfortunes that happened to him. Uh, maybe he got <clears throat> attacked by a Baryena, or who knows what happened, but his paws deformed. So we're going to go ahead and give him, um, nimble fingers, and let's give Saffron, hmm... I like the idea of her passing on that digging paw, so let's let's just kind of ensure that makes it through, and let's try, let's see what his immunities are like. He has really low fertility, ooh, and bad eyesight, so on him, let's fix the, um, low fertility with normal fertility and on her let's 
Ooh, yeah, definitely didn't want to pass on that um, blind eye or that um, bad seeing eye. So we'll pass on regular vision. Um, I think Duke Nunu would come over this way and Kiroro. Mm, let's have you settle in a little bit closer this way. Analana. Let's have you move over here and gather up some food. We need to keep that in check. Hmm, everyone's kind of okay for now. Can we have... Actually, Solo needs to stay there because his son is much too little. No, oh, actually, you know what? Let's have um, Banana, who is our babysitter, uh, come this way. And Solo, let's have you move closer to the tree so you can pick up some more nuts for your babies. There goes those annoying patches of grass. We have Meme. Let's have you come this way. We'll gather that bunny and Relaco. Um, we were going to go ahead and have you be accepted into this little area because we have a couple of Oh, hello, Lipton. What are you barking at? That's okay. Come on. Oh, okay. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, Lipton was barking at the mailman. So, you know, typical dog stuff. Um, but yeah, Rolaka was going to be brought over here into the fold of our healers and taught um, how to heal. I think that Annis would be very happy that um, two out of the three of her daughters have found a purpose in life. And Meme... Meme seems kind of like a gentle soul. She spends most of her time kind of playing over here by the trees and the berries. And she seems like a really, really sweet nicheling. So uh, let's go ahead and... Who should we view first? Well, okay. Well, we have a good view of both of the... Um, pregnant females right now. So let's go ahead and go to the next day. Ooh, what? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, two more daughters. Oh, she really looks like a banana. Anna Nanar. Oh my gosh. Aphid, you can't keep naming your... <laughs> okay. Um... We have Corey, who is named after another one of our nichelings. So we have two Coreys now. But we have a cracker-jawed baby who has much lighter fur. Um, let's take a look at her and our other baby. Now she looks like a little peach smoothie. Um, let's call her Peach. And I do actually have to remind myself to um, <laughs> go ahead and put the uh, pink gems on Aphid um, and her children. So she has three children now who will be getting pink gems. One, two, three. And Peach, yeah, definitely Peach is getting <laughs> some pink gems when she grows up a little bit more. Okay, and then we have Kore who has... Um, she has an interesting pet. She looks like a little, um, like a ferret. Um, yeah, like a, a little white ferret. Um, so let's call her, because I don't want to confuse her with the other Cory that we have. Ferret? 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 Yeah, we'll just call her Ferret. That's that's kind of cute and funny, and it... I like it. <laughs> okay, so we have that. And Cinnamon, I think, let's change her gems to orange. Because she... That's a, that's a cinnamon color. And then let's... Mm, there was someone who was of the yellow line, and I think that was, was it Solo? 
Was it Solo's family that had? Yes, Solo's family had um, yellow gems. Oops. There we go. Solo's family had yellow gems. And I think that is Fox. And is Ray Ray was a wild nicheling that we happened to adopt and she was. Okay, so Saffron wouldn't have. Um, Saffron wouldn't have any any kind of different gems. I think that she would be content with her status. Um, she she doesn't really have very much to do with all of the politics in the um, in the family. So let's change. I do want Solo's line to continue because Kane was his father. And oh no, we don't get to change his um, genes. But his brother. Um, I think would have wanted to continue that on. So Solo has yellow gems, and let's have his son Duke Nunu. Oops. Let's do that, and let's have Kiro. Analona, Analana, Isila. Isila had regular gems. Analana had regular gems. Um, let's have. Kiro adopt yellow gems. Okay, I like that. That way we can keep track of the families as we um, separate them. So we have Rayaname with her blue gems because she's the new leader, and we have Annis who is um, quite content. She's just gonna clear the area. She's run into a rock. Um, so this would be a good, <clears throat> a good time for her to kind of just regale the stories that she had learned from Fox and Meme. Meme is just kind of quietly over here, hanging around, picking up her little berries, and we have a lot of Crab, crab, crabbits dying, so Saffron can pick that up with her little cracker jaw. And let's go ahead and make our first move to a different island. I think we'll set everybody up with um, what they'll do. Let's see, can you guys hop over here on this island? Ooh, please don't take any damage. Ooh, okay, so we got a little bit of drowning damage, but that's okay. We have the next uh, couple turns set up so that way they can cross, and he's lighting the path for her. Um, let's have... <laughs> We've got little peach and banana. That's really funny. Hmm. I think that Solo would take his family and... Did we say that we wanted him to go through the middle aisles over here? Yeah, I think that Solo would... I think Solo would do that. So let's have his family move a little closer to the edge over here. Um, I think that his son Kiro would be very excited to lead the way. And... Duke Nunu would definitely follow and say, well, no younger brother of mine is going to get the jump on me. And let's have Aphid come here and pick up some nuts for her new baby. And Analana would probably come over this way Oh, hello. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> um, this is very unexpected. Who are you, you beautiful creature? We have been searching all this time for males, and you, oh, you have antlers. I like that. Ooh. You're going to pass away soon, though. Is it really worth it to invite you? 
we're getting really close to 20 nichelings and I want to have more babies but we could always use an extra set of hands and maybe oh here we go yeah and maybe you can be of help to us by clearing the area and I think you would show um, show the area around over here because it seems like he's been living on this island along with the other males to uh, Rianame. Hmm. Okay. That's an interesting development. Um, but let's come back to Analana and we're going to have her scooch over to follow Saffron because I think she would try to warn against um, Saffron from going too far away from the family, but Saffron is just not really having any of this. And let's have Banana come closer to her siblings. And I think that as the older sister, she would just say, hey guys, where are you going? You guys can't just run off. Um, and yeah, I think we're going to end the turn once we are finished with everybody's moves here. So Rilako is good. Um, let's have Aname and I think she would purr as like a little blessing. I like the idea that we have our little purr snouts um, purring for the little babies so that way when they're born into this world they have um, the blessings of their ancestors. So let's see, can we grab this bunny? I want more food. Yes. Thank you and we'll have you hop back over here. We'll pick that up in the next turn. Can you swipe that bunny? Whew. Okay guys, so we are officially done with the day. I'm sorry that this was kind of a rambly, talky episode, but we had to cover a lot of ground with um, what was currently happening with our little tribe and trying to keep track of everybody and figuring out where the plot is going to go. So I'm pretty happy with that. If you guys have any suggestions, I am definitely open for any kind of um, input that you guys have so that's uh, I'm super happy but we have our little peach and banana and we have our <laughs> little um, ferret over here um, I'm I'm pretty happy with all of this so in the next episode it looks like Anise is going to pass away in two days and I think that's more than enough time for her to um, let her daughter know, you know, don't make the same mistakes that I did. So, um, all right, guys, uh, I will see you next time. Um, bye.